We're here at Trailer Trek Suffolk in Bury St Edmunds, who like me is part of the National Trailer Towing Association. And together, we're making this film as part of National Trailer Safety Week. So as I said, we're gonna show you how you couple a commercial trailer to a car. Let's get started. So if you are towing a brake trailer, as I say, you need to have a breakaway cable. And there are two types that you will find, a spring clip or a carabiner style. So this is a carabiner style. If you have a spring clip, we recommend that you wrap it around the tow bowl and clip it back onto the cable. If you have a carabiner style, you can clip that directly to the vehicle. You then have a handbrake, you have your electrics, you have a jockey wheel and clamp, and you have the hitch itself. Let's get this hitched up. So the first thing is the breakaway cable, and we're attaching this, as it's a carabiner, directly to the car. Making sure it's attached. We are then going to be lowering the hitch onto the tow ball. Now with a commercial trailer, you'll often find there's a lock in the hitch. I would not recommend traveling with that locked. Two reasons. One, no one's going to nick it when it's actually in motion. But two, if there's an incident on the road and you need to uncouple this trailer in a hurry, you don't want to be fumbling around looking for a set of keys. So what we have to do to actually hitch this on, is you have to just move the lock out the way, raise the handle. We now use the jockey wheel handle to lower the hitch onto the tow ball. But we don't trust that. So what we do is a rewind. And we're going to rewind the jockey wheel so that it raises the back of the car. Now, if you're on your own doing this, just put your leg against the car. And as you wind the jockey wheel, you'll feel the car raising up your leg. That confirms that this is coupled. That confirms that this and this are not becoming detached. Once we've done that, we can remove now the jockey wheel. We can take it out of the way and stow it for traveling. So we wind this down out the way. And then we have to raise the whole thing up so that it doesn't catch on any speed bumps or anything like that. You may also find on a commercial trailer that you have a split pin on the handle here and you just line the two up and put the split pin in and it stops this handle moving in motion. Electrics now. So this is a seven pin plug but quite cleverly it's into a 13 pin casing so it's going to fit into my car without any adapters which is a right result. Now don't worry that that is sitting up. We actually want that to do it that way. We don't want it dropping down. If it is really long, you might need to put a little kink into the cable so that it doesn't drop. Then the last thing we do is the handbrake. Now I do find commercial trailer handbrakes quite stiff, so bear with me. There we go, that's that done. Okay. So now what we will do is we're going to do a walk around a quick trailer check just to make sure everything's okay and we'll do a light check before we set off. Okay, so we've coupled up and we're happy that we've done that. So now we're going to do a trailer check. So all that involves is walking around and making sure anything that's been attached onto the trailer, so your extra lights, your mud guards, your wheel uh, mud flaps, handles, etc. are actually attached. With regards to the tyres, we're going to be checking torque settings on the wheel nuts and we're making sure we've got the recommended legal tread depth on the tyres. Also check the age of your tyres as well. There will be a date of manufacture on there, so just keep an eye on that. Recommended between five and seven years for a tyre. We're then carrying on round, checking our lights are attached. We're making sure that the doors are secure. 
that we've got a matching number plate. Again, checking this side and you're just repeating down the other side. All our tyres, wheel nuts, reflectors, handles. So now that that's been done, what we will conduct now is a light check. We want to make sure that we check our lights simultaneously. So we will be putting on the lights, the rear fog, applying the brake, putting the vehicle into reverse, and then checking our right indicator, followed by the left. And then we switch that out and replace it with the hazards. By checking all these at the same time, we're guaranteeing that the load can cope. So the electrical current passing between the car and the trailer can cope with the demands we're asking of it. So that's how you couple a commercial trailer to a car. We hope you found the video useful. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Trek Trailers Suffolk in Bury St Edmunds for allowing us to film here today and keep watching for further videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe now. See you next time.